From treacherous waters in Australia to dangerous beaches in Hawaii, here are 20 of the world's most shark-infested waters. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 20, Fripp Island. South Carolina is not known for shark attacks. In fact, the incidents are relatively rare, but in 2010, four shark attacks occurred. Luckily, all of them non-fatal. But a six-year-old child was bitten on a leg and dragged underwater before her father could chase the animal off with a board. While the child did survive, the wound required more than 20 stitches to close. Follett's Island. Not unlike South Carolina, shark attacks in Texas waters are fairly uncommon. Such an attack will usually occur when fishermen try to untangle the animals from the lines. But victims have been attacked while they wade in waist-deep water. A college student was twice bitten by a bull shark in 2011 while wading off the coast of Follett's Island. The animals are commonly found along the coastline of Upper Texas. Tiger Beach. Located in the Grand Bahamas, the West End serves as home to tiger sharks in the area. A shark cage diving activity will place you in a metal cage and send you some 30 feet below surface to make the acquaintance of said sharks. Makena Beach, Hawaii. Now, Hawaii might be a paradise, but sharks aren't known to crash the party. Tiger sharks prey on swimmers at this location as they hunt in shallow waters. In this case, the closer you are to the surface, the more likely it is you'll be attacked. Sharm El Sheikh. This popular resort at the Egyptian Red Sea was not known for shark activity, but it did make some news as such in 2010 when a sudden rash of six shark attacks occurred, one of them fatal. A woman who suffered bites to a hand and leg later underwent partial amputation of the limbs. As a result, the beach was closed and dozens of sharks, including mako sharks and ocean white tips, were captured and killed. It's still not completely clear what triggered the predator's behavior, but some experts think it had to do with cattle ships in the area dumping carcasses overboard, and that brought the sharks closer to shore. Cancun. Now, you may not think of this popular resort getaway in Mexico as posing much risk of being attacked by sharks, but you would be incorrecto. In fact, the location is highly infested with the critters. The odds of falling victim to a shark attack are enhanced because of Cancun's popularity. More people in the water offers the predators more opportunity. In 2011, a tourist lost her arm after wading into water that was waist deep. Omlunga Rocks. Both bull sharks and great whites call this area in South Africa home. In the 1950s, a series of fishing nets were set up to protect swimmers and surfers. The area is considered so dangerous that surfers are given a device to wear that is said to discourage sharks from attacking them. Coffin Bay. Victims at this location in South Australia were often attacked by sharks as they were swimming, surfing, or diving. When a man went diving off the port of Coffin Bay, two sharks attacked him, and his body never returned to the surface. Lake Nicaragua. It is the largest lake in Central America, and it actually has a shark named after it. The Lake Nicaragua shark is actually a bull shark, a species that can adapt to live in freshwater or saltwater environments. This freshwater specimen was initially thought to be native to that specific lake, but experts have found the critters display some salmon-like behavior. They'll jump into the rapids of the San Juan River, which connects the lake to the Caribbean Sea. Bull sharks tagged inside the lake and vice versa have been located in the the open ocean less than two weeks later. Located in Guns Bay, South Africa, there are so many great white sharks here that some enterprising souls went out and created shark tours for visitors. If you have the nerve, you can enter a cage which descends into the ocean, and that allows you to meet up with a great white eye to eye, or tooth to tooth as the case may be. It's said that Guns Bay is the world's great white shark capital. Surf Beach. Located north of Santa Barbara, shark attacks are fairly common in the northern California waters, but one incident made headlines when it occurred in 2010. A teenage surfer was riding the waves near Vandenberg Air Force Base near Santa Barbara when he was attacked and killed by an 18-foot great white shark. Another fatal attack occurred two years later. Surf Beach has been recognized as one of the worst locations for shark attacks.
St. Clair Beach, famous for its breathtaking scenery, New Zealand has also experienced its fair share of shark attacks, with at least 60 attacks recorded, 12 of which were fatal, the latest occurring in 2013 at Murai Beach. St. Clair Beach in particular has been the location of several attacks, including a fatal one in 1964. A 19-year-old lifeguard died after his leg was torn off by a shark during a training exercise. New Smyrna Beach. Sharks are known to attack humans while they swim or surf in the Atlantic Ocean, so much so that this location in Florida is sometimes referred to as the shark attack capital of the world. The international shark attack file shows that this region has the most confirmed shark bites worldwide. In 2016, three different surfers were bitten by sharks at the same beach over the span of a few hours. It's not uncommon to see spinner, tiger, and black tip sharks in the waters of New Smyrna Beach. Top Sail Island. Located in North Carolina, this area is known for sharks attacking victims in shallow water. Children have been attacked as they stood in water no more than three and a half feet deep. In one case, a teenager was bitten twice before escaping to shore. Those bites were severe enough that the animal's tooth was extracted from the 13-year-old girl's ankle and some 60 stitches were needed to close the wounds. More than 40 people have reportedly been attacked here over the past 75 years. Fishhawk Beach. The waters off Cape Town, South Africa are well known for the frequency of shark attacks, even with shark spotters designated to keep watch for the beasts. But several fatal attacks have occurred in recent years. In 2010, a man vacationing from Zimbabwe was pulled under the surf and dragged out to sea by what was believed to be a great white shark. Witnesses described the creature as being longer than a minibus. One witness even tweeted about the event as was happening. That witness claimed the shark was dinosaur huge, quote unquote. Well, regardless of the shark's size or species, this much is certain. All that remained of the victim was his diving goggles and a dark patch of blood in the water. Lyman Beach. Some of the world's most shark-infested waters can be found in Hawaii. At Lyman Beach, sharks are known to commonly go after surfers, swimmers, and divers. And warnings are posted that visitors are well advised to heed. We found that tiger sharks are often identified by victims. The International Shark Attack file has stats indicating that more than 110 unprovoked shark attacks were reported in Hawaii from 1882 through 2009, with 11 of them being vital. The last such case was reported in 2015. Recife Beach, waters in Brazil, has had nearly 60 reported shark attacks in the past two decades, and more than 20 ended in fatality. The bull shark is most commonly identified here, but tiger sharks roam the vicinity as well. Those animals are attracted by garbage thrown overboard by ships, as well as by low-frequency sounds emitted by the vessels. Bull sharks were forced close to the shoreline after the construction of docks in the 1980s altered the animal's hunting and breeding habits. The Red Triangle. Why is Bolinas Beach in California called that? Because the waters there are known to be inhabited by so many great white sharks, and they will often attack surfers in the area. In fact, some sources indicate that close to 40% of shark attacks in the U.S. have occurred here. And put in greater perspective, that's about 11% of all shark attacks worldwide. And before getting to our number one selection, let's take time out for an honorable mention. This picture actually inspired the episode, and you can see the shark drifting behind the young lady who seems pretty calm about having the creature so close to her. We didn't know if she was oblivious to the predator, which we think is a great white shark, or if she just didn't care. It might be one of those dangerous tours allowing visitors to get up close and personal with dangerous beasts, although there's no way to tell the location. Or maybe it could have been photoshopped. We're not 100% sure about this one, but it does present a compelling image. What do you think the story is with the lady and the shark? Lighthouse Beach. Now, the beaches of New South Wales are famous or infamous for the great amount of shark attacks and fatalities that occur there. More than 220 attacks have been recorded, out of which 61 were fatal. In 2016, Lighthouse Beach was the scene of a shark attack involving a teenage surfer. While his injuries were not fatal, the type of shark 
could not be identified. More recently, Lighthouse Beach made some news when a drone captured images of a great white zeroing in on a surfer, but no injuries were reported. Since 2014, more than 10 shark attacks have been reported in the region.